As we come on tonight, we are just hours away now from that crucial public hearing, the committee that will advise the FDA whether to grant emergency approval for the Pfizer vaccine here in the U.S. Of course, it's been approved in the U.K., vaccinations underway. It was approved today in Canada. And tonight, you will hear from a doctor right here on that committee tomorrow and his encouraging words even before the meeting. And all of this does not come a moment too soon after the deadliest week so far in this pandemic. More than 15,000 lives lost in just the past week here in the U.S. And in this country, we are now losing about 92 Americans every hour to the virus. More than 288,000 lives lost in the pandemic. We're now averaging more than 200,000 new cases a day. That's three times the summer peak, about six times more than what we were seeing last spring. Tonight, the number of Americans in the hospital right now battling this virus, more than 104,000. And in Kansas, one hospital alone there with 152 frontline workers now out with COVID. In parts of California tonight, the ambulances with struggling patients are waiting outside ERs. Hospitals are overwhelmed. Meantime, in the UK today, thousands more getting the vaccine, including 100-year-old Ethel Sinclair right there. But there was some concern after early word that two healthcare workers there had significant allergic reactions. Authorities tonight now saying people with a history of allergic reactions should not get the vaccine. Those healthcare workers are okay tonight. And here in the U.S. today, practice runs. These images from Denver tonight. This Pfizer vaccine, as we've reported here, has to be kept at 94 degrees below zero. But first up tonight, this all-important meeting tomorrow over emergency approval here in the U.S. And here's our chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, leading us off from the FDA tonight. Tonight, Americans hoping to soon see images just like this here in the United States. A robust rollout across the U.K. The elderly and healthcare workers, the first in line. I feel privileged, very privileged to be one of the first ones to, to get it. But tonight, British health regulators warning people with a history of significant allergic reactions shouldn't get the vaccine. Out of thousands who received it, two healthcare workers who got the shot had allergic reactions. They were treated. Officials say they are fine. Both had a history of severe allergies and carry EpiPens with them. And now, American vaccine officials caution the FDA could make a similar recommendation. The expectation would be that subjects with known severe reaction, allergic reactions should not take the vaccine until we understand exactly what happened here. Allergic reactions to vaccines do happen, but severe reactions are rare. With the clock counting down to a potential green light for the Pfizer vaccine as early as tomorrow, they tried a dry run at Denver International Airport. Boxes loaded and taken from the airport straight to healthcare providers. The ultra cold Pfizer vaccine will be unpacked. These practice vials part of the rehearsal. The vaccine divided into doses and injected into volunteers. That's the whole reason we're doing this exercise today to find out if we have any friction points, any areas that we need to improve on. The country set to launch the most ambitious, most complicated vaccine rollout in American history. What happens next is obviously within 24 hours of that approval, uh, we will begin moving the vaccine. So from Pfizer at Kalamazoo, the trucks will roll right out of there to the nearest airports and we'll begin distributing the vaccines across the entire country. And now we're hearing from one of the independent FDA advisors who will vote on whether the Pfizer vaccine should get emergency authorization. Despite the speed, it appears to me from reviewing the documents that the appropriate safety design was in there. We should feel good about where we are right now. And tonight, 90-year-old grandmother Margaret Keenan, who made history as the first person to get the vaccine in the UK out of the hospital, holding a newspaper reading, one small jab for Maggie, one giant leap for all of us. I think everybody in this hospital knows me. <laughs> we'll do that. Not just to get the hospital well, 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 Great to see Maggie across the pond doing well today. Tom Yamas with us live from FDA headquarters in Maryland tonight. And Tom, if the vaccine is given emergency approval tomorrow here in the U.S., how many doses go out in that first wave? David, that first wave will be 2.9 million doses within 24 hours. Then over the next few weeks, another 2.9 million doses. A reminder, the Pfizer vaccine is two shots. But Dr. Ashish Jha from Brown University says if there is authorization tomorrow, he hopes some Americans could get the vaccine by Friday. Many experts are telling us, though, it will probably be a few days after that, likely Monday morning. David, this is a very fluid situation. We are covering every angle of it, but we will know very soon. David. And you'll bring it to us, Tom Yamas. Thank you. And it's
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.